is me with a different type of video. I hope I'm shocking you guys because I'm shocking myself. But I mentioned to you guys in previous videos that I wanted to do a hairstyle challenge. Not a protective hairstyle, although the hairstyles will be protective styles. But I'm calling it a hairstyle challenge because I don't do any type of styling with my hair. Nothing. I don't do much of anything. I just twist my hair for the week. I may take it out once a week and that's pretty much about it. I purchased quite a few things when I first became natural because it was my intention to to use them but I, I never did. I bought things as, such as Molly hair. I have some of that. I have some foam. Um, I'm not sure what you call them but they're made out of foam and you can use them to wrap around your hair to like, if you want to create a bump or create a um, you create styles with them, that's all I can tell you. I wish I could tell you what the name of them are. I have flexi rods, I have wave rods, which I have used wave rods. I even have the generic curl formers and never even use them. Well, now it's summer, so I decided I'm going to do some hairstyles because that's one of the reasons why I became natural. While I was perm, I have been watching quite a few videos and I've seen, you know, young ladies doing so many different styles and I fell in love. That's one of the incentives for me to go natural, but have I ever styled my hair? No, no, no. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop talking about it and just go ahead and be about it. And the reason why is, well, several reasons. And one is because I need to style my hair because I have some. Two, because the hairstyles are so pretty and I do like them. Three is just something different. Four, some of them are so really cute and so funky. And I also mentioned to you guys, too, that in my family there's female pattern baldness. My grandmother had it, my mother, and I'll probably get it, too. Well, not probably. I am. You would notice it, but I do. When I was permed years ago and I had new growth, I mean, it was so hard to get my finger through my new growth to my scalp. I'm telling you. Now I can just go, mm, and I'm right there. Ooh, it's so just hard, and I'll tell you. And my mother's hair has been out of an awful lot. And just recently I had a birthday, so I'm 52, so you guys know that my hair is going to start thinning. I don't know if it's going to thin a lot, a little bit, but yeah, I'm feeling the effects of it now. And if you're in my age group, you know how I feel. There's a lot of remedies for it, but I don't want to, right now I'll say I don't want to try anything. I don't want any, any Noxidil, any kind of, Noxidil, Noxidil? But whatever it is, you know the name of it. I don't want that. I don't want any pills. I don't want any surgery. So when I start thinning, I'll just let it take its course naturally. I may change my mind, but right now, because I do have some hair to work with, I'll just deal with it as it comes. And the reason why I hope I don't get to be too thin, because I have a big head. Oh my goodness, yes. A, a, a big head. Yeah. And I do not... Oh my goodness, I can't even imagine myself with big head and thin hair. But if that's what the Lord has for me, I'm going to have to take it the way it comes. But let me just tell you why I'm challenging myself um, right now. And that's because I have to. <laughs> and all the other reasons I just gave you. But I really, really just want to style my hair. Summer is fast approaching. Today is the 13th of June. So I'm going to start this challenge for myself June 15th. That doesn't mean that June 15th you'll see the first hairstyle, but anytime after that is when I'm going to start an attempt to try, and I'm going to continue to do this throughout the whole summer, so I'm going to do it whatever the date is for the last day of summer, that's when it's going to be over, I don't know what date that is so you see I have quite some time to do 30 25? 30? 30? 20? 30 different hairstyles, yes, 30 different hairstyles, and they it, it can't be a puff, it, it can include a puff, but it can't be a puff, how does that sound, yeah, mm -hmm. can't be a puff, but it can include a puff, puff over here, puff over here, puff all the way down, it could be puffs anywhere, but it just has to be a hair style, because I don't do anything with my hair, and I want to, I see all these pretty styles, I'm like, oh, that's so pretty, oh, that's so cute, and years ago when I was young, you know, a young lady, and you start doing your hair, you take over 
from your mom or your sister, whoever was doing it, and you start doing it for yourself. I used to corn roll my hair myself. I used to style my hair myself. I used to do such a great job that people always wanted me to do their hair. So hair, or doing hair, is not something that's foreign to me. It's foreign because I think when you get a certain age, and if you're in my age group, let me know if you agree. When you get a certain age, you don't want to fuss with your hair a lot. You want it to look cute, of course, but you don't want to fuss with it a lot. Like when you're younger, you'll take the time to do all those little intricate parts and braiding up this way and up that way and snatching it over here and baby hair and all that stuff. But when you get to be my age, you just want it to look cute. You want it to look cute. You just want it to look cute. <laughs> that's all I want is cuteness and no working. But anyway, that's my hairstyle challenge. So did I explain myself? Okay, so it's going to start June 15th. And it's going to end whenever the last day of summer is. Whatever date that is. That's when it's going to end. So I don't know. And in that time frame, I have to do 30 different hairstyles. It cannot include a puff. No, the style can include a puff, but it can't be a puff. Yeah. It could be a bun, but the bun just can't be a plain bun. It has to be some type of stylish bun. How's that? And that's it pretty much. I am going to use this hashtag right here. Yeah. This hashtag right here. So if you want to follow along, hey, do it with me. It's not really a protective style challenge, although protective styles will be included. But my mission is really to do hairstyles because I don't do any. So for me, this is going to be Ebony Girl Speaks Hairstyle Challenge. Yes. And I'm going to commit myself to do 30. I think I could do it. I think I can do it. I know I can. I know I can. And I know you can too. So, you know, if you want to, you should join me. Have fun. You know, just style your hair. Especially for those of us who don't style our hair. We want to. Styles don't have to be anything so intricate where you're sitting down for hours on end doing your hair, right? Styles can be so simple. At least mine will. And I'm definitely going to share it with them. I'm going to come here, and that's going to be another challenge because I don't really have time like that. But every time I do a style, I have to come here. I'm going to come here. I don't have to, but I'm going to. But anyway, so that's my hairstyle challenge. It's going to be Ebony Girl Speaks Hairstyle Challenge. I'm going to short that Ebony Girl Speaks to E-G-S Hairstyle Challenge. So like I said, if you want to join me, use that hashtag. Let's just have fun. Let's share hairstyles. If you don't want to join me, do it anyway. You're doing hairstyles, so you may as well go on and, and, and use my little hashtag here. And just have fun. Yeah, that's it. So, look. It is a nice day outside. And um, this is the first time I've had a Saturday off in a very long time. with a second one in a row. So, I don't know how long that's going to last. So, I'm going to enjoy myself do what I don't know but I think what I'm going to do is look and see what I'm going to do for my first hairstyle so I'm going to end this video now and I just want to say thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video and hopefully you'll join me on this hairstyle challenge protective challenge if you will but it's going to be a hairstyle challenge for me and I just want to say again thank you for stopping by and watching I'll see you in the next video and I want you guys to share and spread.